Ooh, are matey. And that's enough of that. Because everyone sounds like a farmer when they do that accent. Hello everyone and welcome to How To Sea of Thieves. How to? How, how do I see of thieves? This is going to tell you the basic information on how to play the game. Because there is very little in the way of tutorials. And I've had to do a fair amount of research myself. Now, with the world in crisis as it currently is, we are all finding ourselves with more time free to do things that we've been putting off. This could be one of those things because there's a lot involved and I think there's some people have been a little bit more anxious before they wanted to step in. Being that it is also part of the Xbox Game Pass whether you have an Xbox or a PC you can play this if you have that plus the Game Pass if you sign up brand new account you do get a free month or two I believe so this could be the perfect time to try so watch along with me see the very basics on what you need to do and how to sell your ship and how to get going the first struggle that you're probably going to have is the 12 hour loading screen just to get into the goddamn game that's an exaggeration it's about five minutes but we're going to forward straight for it Now, when you start the actual game, this is where you will start. The mysterious corner over the back there, he will give you a very basic tutorial on getting missions and things. But, when you start the game, every game, you have all the equipment you need to continue. You have no planks or food or cannonballs, but you have all of that on your ship. Other than that, you have all the equipment that you need to sail and to help as well as bonuses all of this stuff you just have it it's there to use to get you started in the game everyone starts on the same foot now this is an outpost island it probably looks very different to the outpost island you might start on it could be the same one I don't know however every single outpost island see look there's my ship every single outpost island will have the same shops for you um, and the same outlets but you'll have to find them a lot of the time they're scattered around the island now the first mission you'll receive will be to find one of the men to give you a mission these missions will form the basis of your gameplay within this probably this is the man they are the treasure guild, the treasure union, and they basically give you missions to dig up buried treasure. This is the mystic union. Now you, they all look the same, so look for the flags and the symbols. These are the ones that will get you to hunt crews of skeletons and baddies. You have to bring back the skulls to sell and to the person inside the shop and then they will give you experience and money for doing those missions and the third of the main groups is the trade union they are always on a jetty they're always stuck out in the water and they basically want you to, sh to ship trade goods backwards and forwards to the people that need them these are the three missions that you'll need to do you will go up in experience in all three when you bring when you complete the missions and when you bring stuff back now all the other shops like that one they give you aesthetic things so they will help you to give you different uh, skins for your ship for your uh, weapons for a whole variety of different things for pretty much everything you can get a different look for 
So to get a mission, you just talk to them. Now you can chat to them, or you can just ask, see what they've got to offer. And as you can see here, I'm on the on the right hand side. It tells you your level. The ones down here are the missions themselves. You have to buy them, but they're really cheap. And then this is where you go up in promotions. The higher promotions you go, the better voyages you'll receive, and the better items you can purchase. Now, I've got the first type of shovel. That is the second shovel, and I need to be level 15. I need to get to the next promotion to unlock that shovel. Let's buy one of these, just so I can show you how to do that too. Um, and that's everybody. All three people I've just shown you. In fact, let's go and have a look now. They do offer very specific items that are only available through their store. So you see, I'm level 15 here. And the next um, the next promotion is level 20. And it's a tankard and a lantern. Now, again, I bought the lantern as well. So I need to the next promotion for the next lantern. Each one is a slightly better version of the previous. So it's worth buying them all. Oh, got stuck in a door. Okay, and then I'll show you the trade union as well. They're the hardest by far, I would say. But it depends how you play the game and who you're playing it with. So there you go. I am level 14 for the trade. And they're also a bunch of missions. They also give you a timepiece and a spyglass. That's a very nice spyglass, actually. I may end up buying that spyglass because it's not that much money. So it's up to you what you want to spend your money on. But it can be very difficult. Now, when you are fighting, you will need your cutlass. As you can see, I've already branded my cutlass. I love that image. That's a really cool one. Um, the other options you have is the blunderbuss that you just saw. You also have a pistol and a rifle. But when you get injured, you are going to need food, which you can either find in barrels or you can fish or kill. All right, let's show you something else because that ain't working. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut that out. Mainly, I was trying to fish, but if the fish hits the land, it just automatically comes off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fish because. I wasn't aware of how fishing necessarily worked and I struggled for a little while to start with. And the reason I struggled is, this is important, you can only have five pieces of food. It doesn't matter what that food is. It doesn't matter if it's fish or if it's snake or if it's bananas or coconuts or the ever elusive pineapple. You can only have five pieces of, of food. So you see there, one, two, three, four. Now I've already got four pieces of food. What that means is, if I catch one fish now, I physically won't be able to pick up any more. And I could not work out why it wouldn't let me take the fish off the hook. I couldn't work it out. And that's why, because you can only have five maximum pieces of food. And a whole fish is considered food. So that is very important to remember. Okay, so to fish. It's very simple. There's an awful lot of fishing uh, kind of simulators and things that all run the same basic principle. So the idea is you cast and then you just wait. There is an option that you may catch something that isn't a fish. Nine times out of ten, um, you can actually sell those as well as the fish, and you can get like achievements for doing that. But for the most part, doesn't look like we're getting any fish here. Um, but for the most part, there is a hunters' union. They are not on normal. Oh, there we go. Right now, you have to push the button to reel it in, but then stop the moment they're fighting like this you just have to move the stick 
in the opposite direction to which the fish is currently fighting. You just, and now you reel it in. The moment they stop, you reel it in. The moment they start again, you just stop reeling, otherwise the line will break. And you just go about your business. Now, there are a wide selection of fish. And bringing them to the Hunter's Union will give you experience and titles. If you can bring enough of the right fish. And then those titles will unlock better... Uh, different fishing rods they're not better they're not going to make you help catch fish quicker or easier it is just all aesthetics but some of them look really badass and another option is you obviously can cook the fish whether you're going to sell the fish or eat the fish you cook the fish there it is, look at that. That's a very basic fish. I've caught a bunch of them already. Uh, basically, yeah, if you're going to sell the fish, you do get slightly more if you sell it cooked. So always try and cook your fish. You can cook fish for free um, with these kind of things. You have to put them on there and then start your own fire. Um, using your lantern and that's fine you can do that or on your ship you have a grill just use the grill it doesn't take any fuel or anything but you cannot sell the fish to anyone here it has to be sold to the, someone in the hunters union you're just gonna have to google search because they are specifically small little islands that you're gonna have to find for yourself Alright, but now that we are back to our ship, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to sail your ship. Now it's night time, so it's a bit dark, but we can still see what we need to. Um, you do have to be careful of storms, because you can get struck by lightning and it can hurt, even kill you. But, you basically go up to whatever you want and it will give you a prompt of what you need to do. Um, most things are somewhat obvious, like with a lantern you can just turn them on and off. They're good for night time. If you turn the lanterns off, then other ships can't automatically see you in the distance. So if you are running on your own and you just want to go about your business, you can turn all your lanterns off and no one can see you. But we're going to keep it on. Now, this is your ship. This is the main interior of your... This is a small ship, as you can see. It's not very big. Um, I don't like using the big ships. But the first thing I would always do is preload your cannons because if you're on your own specifically it can be a bit of a hassle to load the cannons if you preload them there we go you just pick up the cannonballs out of your infantry or anything you want to shoot that it will let you shoot like the chain shot for example you just load them in your cannons now they're ready to fire if you have the cannonballs in your infantry when you use the cannon, you'll fire, and it will automatically give you a prompt to reload the cannon with what you've got in your infantry with the cannonballs. So that is how you need to defend yourself, whether it be against skeletons or other players or krakens. Always have your cannons loaded. It just makes sense. Um, why wouldn't you? Let's be honest. Now, there's a crate down here that um, lets you refill your ammo. And the one on the wall, as you can see, selects all of your weapons that you've purchased. So you've got your cutlass. And that's my one. You've got your pistol. With the starting pistol and the sea dog pistol. They're the ones I have. Uh, I don't have any extra blunderbusses and I don't have any extra rifles. But the option's there for you. And then the way it works, you can only hold two at once. So when you select the one you want, you choose which order you want. So now I'm holding my cutlass and my pistol. So you have the option of switching between the two. Now down here, um, this is your main... Uh, That's where you're going to put any of the crew that you don't like. It's the hold. Um, this is your grog. You can fill up your tankard and get drunk if you wish and start throwing up all over people. 
there is your uh, you can cook your fish you just slap it on down and let it cook now you have to be careful because I have burned my uh, my whole ship down before um, yes your food barrel this is the vanity chest now this is where you choose how you look you can um, upgrade all the bits and pieces that you've got in the shops and then you come in here um, you can see you can change the, like, the eye patch you can have a hook and a peg leg if you want I believe there is an achievement to have all three I'm not 100% sure but you've got tattoos that you can get scars makeup and curses they're all things that are around the equipment chest is how you change your equipment look so you see that was the original lantern this is the one that I'm using and the same with the shovel. This was the shovel everyone starts with. Yeah, I've got um, this fancy one. It's not as shiny and nice, but the more you go, the, the more shiny they are and the better they look. And then I have a new compass as well. I'm not sure where I got the compass from, though, if I'm being honest. You can get pets, although I don't have them, so I can't help you with that. And clothing is self-explanatory. So... You are ready to do your quest. You've loaded your cannons. The first thing you do is you go to this little table and you propose the voyage you want. And then everybody has to vote for it. There has to be a majority vote. And then you are given the mission to go off and do. Oh, it's looking like a lovely morning. So the first thing to do... Oh yeah, look, there's someone over there. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more quickly in case they get rid of it. but you see we've got a quest now the quests are what you need in order to be told where to go and what to do so I'm just checking to see if there's anyone else uh, so you check your menu and there you go how brave mariner uh, hollows uh, crooks hollow is where we need to go when we get to crooks hollow it will unlock the next part of the message that's on there Sometimes you get an island with a cross on it. And all you have to do is um, go to that specific island. But basically, you have to go to your table and find the island in question. Now, if it's giving you an island picture, you have to just find the island. In this instance, aha. It's given us a name, so it's slightly easier for us. That's where we have to go. It is northeast, and we have to go through Paradise Spring. All right, well, let's get sailed. So, the main ways to sail your ship. I'm keeping an eye because if they come over here, it could be the end of the tutorial. Um, so, the main ways to control your ship: you have your wheel, that goes left and right. You have your compass directly behind it, that lets you know which direction you're going in. Obviously, it's very important. You then have this here, piece of rope. It's right next to the way you come up on your ship, the ladder. And this lets you set the length. This lets you see, see, look, this is the angle. This goes left and right, so you can aim it with the wind if you want. I hardly ever use that. This is the only one you'll need. And then this raises and lowers the anchor. Now you have to go all the way around in a circle. In order to raise the anchor however it, you can just push hold the button down and it will unwind to lower the anchor so lowering the anchor is a lot easier once the anchors raised lower the sails all the way down and then just sail away now the only the only the final piece of information I'm going to tell you is that whilst you're using your wheel you, if you have, if you're using a controller that vibrates, um, or you have sound up, there will be a clonking noise when you get to the centre, when you pass the centre of the rudder. So what you do is you go all the way left, or all the way right, and then you'll hear it and feel it go clonk when you reach the middle. So you keep going just ever so slightly left and slightly right, and once it's clonking you know you're in the centre. Now, you can just leave it going because you are sailing straight and you know that you're sailing straight because the rudder was clonking at you. And that's it. 
you are sailing away. That should give you a nice basic grounding, a nice understanding of what you need to do to get missions and to shoot people and to sail your ship. So by all means, go and have fun on the seas. Thank you so much for watching. This has been How Do I Sea of Thieves? How do Sea of Thieves? Hopefully this will get you guys started on your adventures. And hopefully you won't get sunk quite as many times as I have been. If you enjoyed this and you would like to know my opinions on the game itself. Then why not check out my other video. Which is a quick look at Sea of Thieves. That went up just about an hour or so ago. On my channel. So why not just go and have a little look at that. And you can find out what I think of the game. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you again next time.